getting to know the story behind the headlines. Akron News Now reports with more depth on the stories you need to know on WAKR News Now. Public school districts put it very bluntly. If House Bill 136 makes it into law, it could doom public education in Ohio. The bill would expand Ohio's education voucher system. Now a district a child would leave has to be in poor academic shape, but Akron School Board member James Hardy says the rules would change. It opens the voucher pool up to anyone who wants it. Uh, whether you're in a district that's excellent with distinction, as many suburban districts are, whether it's a large urban district, where continuous improvement, whether you're a specific school is excellent with distinction, makes no difference. Uh, that voucher is available to you. You can take that money at oftentimes um, two to three times the amount that we get as a public institution. So if, let's, for instance, say we get $5,500 uh, per pupil in, in Akron. Your voucher would be, you know, could be upwards of six to seven thousand dollars that you would take towards tuition at a private or parochial institution, which has no public board, no public uh, input whatsoever. So public tax dollars going from public institutions to private. Hardy says the ability of masses of students using vouchers to go to private schools would harm public school improvements in Akron. With our latest uh, state report card, we're moving the needle, not just in specific areas, but in all areas and all children. How can we sustain that kind of growth if there are vouchers available to every single one of our children? Now keep in mind, there isn't enough room for every single one of our children to go to a private institution. Many, 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 many will stay here. In fact, the vast majority will be here whether they're eligible for the voucher or not. So what we've done is basically, as the state said, in my opinion, uh, your school is worthless, but sorry we can't do anything about it because they're all full at the private institution, so best luck next year. But Hardy says it's not just the Akron district or other large urban districts that he's worried about. But there are districts in Summit County that are excellent with distinction that are going to be under serious distress as a result of House Bill 136 and the expansion of school vouchers because their kids can go anywhere they want. If their parents have always wanted their kids, regardless of the quality of education that they get at the public schools, if they want their kids to go to a private school, they can get upwards of two to three times the amount of money that the public institutions get to take it to a private school. So uh, it's it's a very serious threat to to the way we we do things. Um, It's it's totally counterproductive in my opinion. Um, All it does is, is increase animosity between the state and what we're trying to do here and we would hope that they would be supportive but instead they're deciding basically to throw in the towel on public education and and the sad thing is is that there aren't enough private schools to handle all the children we have in our state. Mike Ward, AkronNewsNow.com. More news, weather, sports, business, entertainment, and community on AkronNewsNow.com and always on WAKR News Now.